All set. Gates crash open and they racing away. Bold Fortune, a little bit slow to go from the worst of the draws, drops in at the back of the field. Pretty Betty broke out well, goes off to the early lead, sprinkles right there in second. Princess Keller is well placed. Then comes Mount Laurel around the outside, three deep to get into a prominent place. A length back to St. Bardestin, who tugged in the early stages, but now in a good rhythm. Kept company by Zarina. They together, they race about four lengths adrift with half a length away to under your spell. Then comes Chat Ching, who races around midfield. Rouge Allure, the white blink is one off the rail. Marigold Hotel takes the scenic route at the outside. Bold Fortune is not at the end of the field. She's three quarters of the way back. Sparkling Water being sat on towards the end of the field. And finally, she's a keeper. A dozen lengths off the leader towards the final 800 metres. And Pretty Betty is in front. We'll bring them into the home straight. The leader by a length and a half over Sprinkles, who's well placed, as is Princess Keller. The red sleeves, the green body, two lengths off the leader in third. Then comes Mount Laurel, sent by Destiny, being nudged and nerdled along. Zarina's towards the inside rail. Cha-ching's in the lighter blue. Then comes Under Your Spell, Marigold Hotel. Further back and running to Sparkling Water. She's a keeper. Then comes Bold Fortune and finally Rouge Alert towards the final 400 metres and Princess Keller hit the front with Sprinkles. Under your spell, Pretty Betty. Then towards the outside is Mount Laurel. They followed by Zarina. Princess Keller is the leader. Over under your spell in second, throwing her eight around and running a huge race. Zarina's up the inside. Princess Keller brits her teeth over under your spell. Princess Keller became a queen. Princess Keller wins. Second goes are under your spell. Third place, Sparkling Water. Fourth tight, Marigold Hotel involved with Zarina. Well, her Serene Highness Princess Charlene Empress Club Group 1 has been won by guess who? Princess Keller. What a win it is. Mike Woodstock will be joining me shortly. But first, the man of the moment, Aldo de Maya. Aldo, um, I think you're, you're almost overcome. I don't often see you overcome. That was a, what a performance for others. Wonderfully. She's just so talented, isn't she, Aldo? Yeah, listen, then I have to explain this. So much emotion involved with this one. Um, uh, obviously, it's meant a lot to my family. Uh, to share Group 1 in a moment like this, it's... Uh, uh, another sort of feeling. It's the moment. Uh, yeah. And you know what's so amazing about your family? They have told us from day one she arrived here she will win this race. She's that good. They put their hearts out there. You took the ride out here. And what a, what a lovely family moment. And of course, Mr. Ferreira. Yeah, listen, I've got to thank Candice for allowing me to ride this horse here today. Um, Adam, all the work is, the groundwork is done with this horse. Phenomenal. It was a lot for us to work with when she got here. He sent up in impeccable condition and he prepped her quite nicely from a young upbringing. So well done to Adam, everyone that was involved with and the family uh, at home as well with this was. I spent a couple of weeks away from home, but you know, she's sacrificing for this filly. And uh, last time I sat on her, she just kept improving and improving. And the rain interrupted and everything just gave us reason to have a bit of doubt. But every time I jumped on her, a little bit more class came through and I must have well done to my dad, well done to Ash. I can't imagine the amount of pressure they must have taken for this, but my dad said the one thing he wants to do before he goes is to train a group, <laughs> group one, one, and then, yeah, I am bringing it home for them. So to Ash, to Ferreira, everyone involved, a very big well done. Everyone who supported me through this most difficult time, because, you know, it's quite stressful building up to these sort of races. Yeah. That's thanks to all of them. This is a very big win for us. Eldo, look who's got a bottle of wine for you, Mr. Pierre Striker Stratum. One champion to another champion. He takes the bottle of wine. Eldo, top ride. Well done, sir. Thank you. Enjoy the moment. Eldo, it's not often you see Eldo overcome. Thank you. Yes. It's not often you see Eldo overcome with emotion. I can promise you that. Now, if I can find Ashley, look how dazzling Ashley looks. We're going to get in here. They're just having hugs here. And I'll be chatting to Mike Woodstock. Don't worry about Mike. He'll be coming just now. Ashley. You and Andrew have been talking about this all since you arrived. I spoke to you a week ago. You said, Laos, you can't lose. Your confidence has come through. Well done to your whole team. I'm just so grateful. And what a filly. What, a, what an absolute pleasure she's been since the moment she set foot in our yard. Des and Mario, they couldn't, they deserve this more than anybody. You know, they, they're passionate. They put a lot of uh, money into the game. And I couldn't be more happy for, for owners and, and a manager than, than these two. Andrew, I'm just sad he's not on the course. He's going to join us later. But the amount of time and effort he's put into this filly. Craig, Kelsey, 
uh, her groom who has kept her safe. You know, he has done an amazing job. Ryan and Chad, on the days when Aldo couldn't come, if, if the plans change, I would say, Ryan, I need you. Ex, you, and the only question he would ask me is, Ash, what time do you need me there? So, you know, when you've got a team like that backing you up, it makes getting a horse to the races easy. I mean, what a way to win a grade one. I'm so glad that we finally got our first one on the board. And uh, with a princess and a royal race day, I think she deserved it as well. I think you feel like a princess right now. Please, will you take this bottle of wine from Striker Stradium as well? He's behind you. Ashley, what a fantastic achievement to the whole team. And uh, thank you very much. Well done. I just want to say to Aldo, you've made my dreams come true. I'm just so grateful for you, for the ride, for the confidence that you gave us going into this race. To our whole team back at home and to our wonderful sponsors, Fundamali, this, you know, our vets, our farriers, the, the whole team that works with us day in and day out. You, you don't get horses to the races without a, a backbone and they are the backbone of our, our yard so I'm very grateful to every single one every single member and every single supporter of our yard as well the, you know fans keep racing punters keep racing and I'm glad the banker came home <laughs> enjoy the moment Ash. thank you thank you so much Ashley now we're going to get uh, Des right behind Ashley of course the racing manager for Mario Ferreira and wow I mean this horse is just she's a superstar isn't she we can we can say that she's you know, before I, before I say anything, I just want to say thank you to the boss, you know, that allows his whole team the time, the patience, and then all the people that were involved in this filly from the day that she was, you know, when she started back at his farm, to Dennis, to Adam, especially to Anton. Also, they did a lot of work on the filly. And then to Ashley and her team, it's... You know, it's, it was always a plan. We kept on running second to Captain's Ransom. So we said, look, Justin's not coming up. Let us come. But we'll take the fight to them in the, in the KZN season again. Well, you know, Mr. Ferreira and you do so much for racing, so many colours all over the world, and uh, I'm so happy for you to have another Group 1 no, winner. It's, Congratulations. It's, thanks very much. Before okay. you go, please take a bottle of wine from Pierre Stratum, and if you'll take the winner's trophy as well. This, of yep. course... Named after Empress Club, uh, who won 15 of 20 starts. Eight-time Group 1 winner. Des, uh, Mike Woodstock's on hand to give you that trophy. That's a floating trophy. You have another trophy okay. over there, which uh, you can take with you. Pierre Stratum in the picture as well. Well done to Des and Mr. Ferreira. And uh, lovely having Pierre Stratum on course here as well. Now, uh, just another man that I'm not going to forget is the groom. And uh, he's going to be coming and stepping in as soon as uh, we get him in here. He'll chat. He's got a nice trophy as well. Thank you. And uh, please uh, step up here, sir, and come and chat to us. Um, he looks after this horse every day. Wow, what a racehorse. Hey, it's very fantastic. I'm so excited to win this uh, race with a nice horse like uh, Keller. I'm really, really happy. Special thanks to the owner, to Mrs. <laughs> and Mr. Fortune, for giving me opportunity to look after her. I know it's not easy to look after a nice horse like her, but I'm really happy. And also special thanks to the owner and the whole team at home. The whole team as well. And you know, yes, uh, yes, Studio yes. 88, of course, are giving all the grooms money here. Well done to you. Yes. Princess wins the princess race yeah. of Empress Club. Yeah. Man. Amazing coincidence. Well done to you. Sure. And uh, thank you for looking after the champ. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well done. Very now, good. there's your trophy. Please take that with you. And, of course, Studio 88, I must keep mentioning, they do a lot for the grooms, and they're sponsoring this race in its entirety as well, as far as the uh, grooms are concerned. And then, Mr. Woodstock, we've been waiting for you, last but not least. You and Princess Charlene have done so much for charity. You've got this race together. What a wonderful moment. Well, as I said to you in our previous uh, interview, it's taken us 10 years to get there. Um, but firstly, I always like to start off by thanking Mary Slack for what she's done for racing. I want to thank Jessica for not putting in a horse in the race because she won it three out of four times. <laughs> and I'm so happy that this horse won, not only because I caught a nice treble, but <laughs> Mario and I raced a horse together called Bonnie Dawn. So, Mario, well done. I'm very pleased for you. Um, today is Ladies' Day. I want to thank Candace Bass Robertson and the other three ladies that brought the horses well to the done. course today. It's a ladies' day, and I want to thank the ladies sincerely for the way they've dressed today. Unbelievable. Very, very good. Um, you cannot put on a race like this without sponsors. Prince Albert has helped me. Um, the guys from Monaco, the South yes. Africa Sport the Kings, who, by the way, are sitting at Slammer's Pub, they've got uh, a TV there, and they've tuned in, they're watching. So I hope you're enjoying it. I'm glad I could tip you four winners. Well done. And uh, basically, 
we got to the stage by from the maiden plates up to here, I spoke to Colin before the race and I said, this is Mike Woodstock speaking, not the four racing or anyone. I want to make this race a two million buck race next year. Sounds and I'm lovely. pretty sure I'll get to it quite easily. Now, Mike, we've got three charities and, and you've got these checks for them. You, Princess Charlene, and all of the guys and girls in Monaco. Are we going to hand those out to these three I fantastic so, yeah, charities? I believe so. I see the, the first one that I'm seeing is Earth Center. Um, so I believe we have uh, representatives, okay. representatives, and Natalie's going to help you. So Earth Center stepping forward. And I tell you what, just Google these guys. What they do for charity is amazing. Mike Woodstock got their check there for 50,000 Rand, and that is the first of three charities benefiting from uh, Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene Empress Club Stakes. And thank you so much to them for being on course and what they do and what Mike and his whole family have done for the charity. So thank you very much to them. And uh, we're getting a few photos, and we'll move on to our second charity, which is benefiting here this afternoon. And again, thank you so much to Penny and Natalie. You are helping us so nicely here. There's a bit of a breeze blowing. The Hamlet Foundation. I'm not quite they here today. They're not here, but uh, there we go. There's a 50,000 Rand for the Hamlet Foundation. Also, Google them. Give them money as well. It's a fantastic foundation. And our third and final beneficiary today. Here we go. I'll have to read this upside down, Natalie. Here we go. And this is the uh, United Cerebral Palsy Association of South Africa. So uh, thank you so much, Mike. Thank you to your daughter. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for all the help you've given us on this race. Your interviews have been top draw. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, Mike. There we go. You've heard it. Princess Keller has come through and won the Empress Club. Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene, thank you. Thank you to the charities. 1-11, 4-2 for the big one this afternoon.